Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as Alexander. So, when we last left off, we were fighting Rome, but I decided to end the war for a little bit, prepare better, and then declare war again. We have a Golden Age, so I can use Golden Age CB. And by the time we declare war again, we'll have better units. We do have artillery coming very, very soon. I just need to improve the oil, and we're on our way to do that. That's the plan. With that said, I highly doubt that this game will go past turn 300, because Pachacuti is likely very close to getting nanotechnology now. And once he gets nanotechnology, it won't take him long to win. So yeah. I can show you his progress. He's been sitting on completed moon landing for a while now. But I expect him to have nanotechnology technology pretty soon. Still, I'll see what I can do here. When is the alliance going to expire? It's about to expire right now. Maybe I won't sign a new one. Try to slow down his space project. With that said, I will not be able to prevent it entirely. That's just not gonna happen. There's artillery. Just need that oil improved. We got... how many envoys? Nine. Alright then. This might still be a little bit tricky, even with artillery. Because Rome has some pretty damn advanced units. No more twists. And I won't be able to get anything equal to their units anytime soon. Here's some more Eras core. We do have one throwaway line infantry from the city-state. As for this settler, yeah, I'm just going to settle up here, get more oil. I don't think it will make a huge difference, but it's always something extra that I can sell. As for the builder here, this is out of range. We'll just send him elsewhere. There's nothing left to improve around Alexandretta. Right, let's grab one more lumber mill here, and then probably a farm. As for the spy, we need the promotions on him. Let's just go for the easiest option here. And I'm going to pass on declaration of friendship. Yeah, let's just pass on that. We can try to spy on him, but like here I said, there's no way I'll be able to stop that entirely. Here's Statue of Liberty. Alright. How many diplomatic victory points do we have now? 12. Yeah, it's highly unlikely I'll be able to get diplomatic victory before Pachacote gets science victory. It's very, very unlikely. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. I think now I might just spam Campos Research Grants. Alright, let's do Campos Research Grants. I could also get more units. But I do want to speed up my research, and the campus research grants is the best way to do that. One city might be enough. We got Statue of Liberty. Now this city could work on some units. We're at 87 production, and it's still growing really nicely. What could we get? We will be getting tanks pretty soon. So, I'm thinking... Yeah, let's stick with heavy cavalry. Some tanks definitely wouldn't hurt. As an alternative, I could also... Wait! Oh, I, I thought for a second that somebody beat me to a Statue of Liberty, <laughs> because we have so much production here. Uh, but no. Yeah, I think we'll just stick to heavy cavalry here. Either that, or a third artillery army. That would work too. I could build a quick encampment in this city. It's not the worst idea, with how much production it has. It kind of makes sense, even. And then I could get a railroad leading northeast. I kind of like that idea. And we need one more mine, right here. 
But yeah, I actually kind of like that idea. Let's get an encampment then. Okay, encampment it is then. I don't want to spam too many coal power plants because some of my tiles will flood and I won't be able to get flood barriers in the nearest future. We'll get them, just not that quickly. Now, I still want this industrial zone and I want a dam, but I don't think I have the time to do that. I really don't have the time to do that. So, since Paris does have an encampment, I could recruit an army directly. That's one option. Actually, let's re no, no point repairing the defenses right now. Uh, they look fine to me. They definitely look fine. I could get a Bombard Core, that's only three turns. It's an option. We could also, hold on, we can improve the oil. I don't need to wait one turn to be able to get artillery, because we need at least one oil in our stockpile. And right now I have zero. How many turns to build industrial zone? Six. That's a bit too much. Let's get one extra military engineer here. That way we can get the railroads faster and we can get some other stuff. Alright, we'll chop some of this rainforest really quick. Water park probably wouldn't hurt. Or entertainment complex. I mean, water park is fine. In fact, they're in here. That would be acceptable. We have enough coastal tiles in Alexandria. Alright, let's get a water park. I wouldn't mind more amenities. Yeah, we have six unhappy cities right now. So I definitely wouldn't mind more amenities. Alright, so the plan is to have a railroad northeast out of that encampment. Let's work on that. I just need a few sections, it won't take long. Right, this line infantry is just a throwaway. We'll use it for something. We got three more builds on this guy. So... Well, we can have a mine here. We can have a forest right here. How's food in Paris? Yeah, we have plenty of food. Let's get a forest and a lumber mill. More production. More production is good. Alright. Speaking of production, another lumber mill. That's a little bit better. Obviously still not amazing. But at least it's not completely terrible. Alright, there's the engineer. So we should definitely have a railroad leading east out of the city. Just to speed up our troop movements a little bit. So let's do that. Now we can get artillery. So how long to get artillery army? Nine turns to get artillery army. How much to buy one? Okay, that might be a little bit too much. I think that's a little bit too much. With that said, we should upgrade our units. We don't have professional army, do we? Yes, we do. I mean, force modernization. Same thing. This requires two oil. I mean, fine, we can do one on this turn and then another one on the next turn. Sounds good. And we'll unlock tanks in two turns. And also the supply convoy. That might come in handy, actually. So what do we do in Paris, then? I'm a bit undecided here. Oh yeah, we should get one field cannon to create field cannon army. Especially since that guy can attack twice per turn. I want to take advantage of that. More artifacts, and let's continue the railroad. We got one oil, let's go get the other one. There's the lumber mill. Alright, and the city. Well, maybe on that hill. This will not be a very good city. We could have the deer in range if we settle right here. And the other deer to the east and to the west. Maybe that's fine. It's not really that important. Okay, whatever, this is fine. No problem. 
And we have a builder coming on the next turn. So just get a granary, maybe buy a monument. Nah, again, it's really not that important. I'm getting this purely for the oil and nothing else. All right, chop this. And then we can have a forest, for example. Not a terrible idea. And I guess I might as well get a farm. We only have one build left. So I guess farm is fine. It's not going to be a very good one. We would be better off with farms right here. And the forests right here. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'll need one more builder down here. It's okay, we'll get one. We can send this guy. He has four builds left. Yeah, that's good enough. We can have two farms and then a forest with lumber mill. That's four builds. No Alright, I don't think... Hold on, what do we want here? Good question, gun about the diplomacy. I probably don't need it that much. But it's fine. I could speed up my spy operations. I'm obviously keeping Merchant Confederation, but we have nine envoys. Let's speed up our spy operations a little bit. That will, in fact, be helpful. And for the economic policies, that's five-year plan. And then for the wild card, what would that be? What is actually worth it? I can get the gold. I could get more oil, but I don't think we really need that. We'll have plenty of oil. So just the gold. I could speed up the encampment construction. This would only affect a single city right now, but it's something. Let's just go for the gold. Can't go wrong with extra money. And my income is not that high right now, plus 22 gold is quite significant. Okay, there you go. So, right, there's the builder. He can go grab all of that oil. And I think I need another builder, because I wanted to plant some forests around here. We do want at least one more builder. And then a spy. Let's work on the encampment, though. That's one single turn. Okay, our spy got some gold. Hopefully he will escape. Yep, he escaped. Nice. And he got the promotion. That's all I wanted. Alright, one more oil down here. How long do we have to wait to declare war here? Uh, where does it say? I don't want to denounce him. Okay, five more turns. Yeah, that's fine. Five turns is acceptable. Alright, let's just get more railroads here. We have one build left, so that will be a mine for more production. Oh, this die is not improved. Okay, no problem. Who's buying? 29 gold per turn. Heck yeah. That's a nice deal. And 9 gold per turn. 18 gold per turn for 10 coal. That's kind of insane. That's kind of insane. Here you go, buddy. Niter, anyone? Yeah, they're still buying. Okay, suddenly our economy looks a little bit better. We doubled our gold per turn. In what, one turn, basically? Oh yeah, and we should extend the alliance with the Khmer, that's fine. I'm just avoiding it with Pachakoti, but I don't care about the other alliances. As in, I don't want other alliances. We had the economic with him, so let's keep economic. Right, now we want the armory, that's three turns, that's fine as well. Not sure if I want to wait for military academy, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, one turn to finish the field cannon. There's the water park for some amenities. So first, let's get the oil, shall we? It will have nice yields as well. We might as well just buy it. Yep, there you go. I mean, we have the money. Chop the rainforest. Speed up that ferris wheel. Right, so now we want the farms right here. And then one more forest with a lumber mill. 
Yeah, we can just spam more railroads. It will make things a bit more convenient. We're about to unlock tanks. So we'll have a tank army right away. That should be helpful. The there you go. So tank army right away. Nice. Another artillery army. There you go. Okay. And there's the field cannon. Now we have a field cannon army with plus one additional attack per turn as long as we don't move. Alright, so... I guess I'll just continue military production. I could really use that industrial zone. I'm just not willing to wait for it. And I could use the dam, but we just don't have the time for all that. We really don't have the time. We could just straight up get artillery army in 8 turns. That is an option. That is an option. Okay, what the heck, let's get artillery army in 8 turns. That's fine. Harbor. Right, for more trade routes. I don't actually have a trader we can use right now. Where was he? Uh, right here. Yeah, this guy. No, was it this guy? Uh, no? Wait, we can't make a trade route. But I'm at 3 out of 4. Uh, okay, that's a bit weird. Maybe some other trade route expired in a different city, that's why. Okay, railroad. We still need two more mines, and we have two builds left. That's perfect. There you go. Right, so we have three builds left. And that's one farm, and then a forest and a lumber mill. Alright. Mine. Yeah, let's have a railroad section up here on this hill. So that we'll be able to move into it without wasting too much movement. Uh, nope, not interested. Sorry, Pachakuti. I will try to nuke him, but the problem is that he might win this game before I get a chance to nuke him. He still does not have nanotechnology, which is a bit weird. Not that I want him to have it, but I expected him to have it by now. More oil. There you go. Yeah, lumber mill. What now? Well, water park probably wouldn't hurt. Let's get a coal power plant for our capital. There's the railroad, we'll obviously connect the city itself as well. That's more production, but I need a connection to my capital too. And we don't have that yet. Right, so railroad up here. That way I can have a field cannon up here. Well, he doesn't have plus one range, but let's keep him back here for now. Forest. There you go. We got two bills left. So, I would say lumber mill and then something else elsewhere. And we're about to get our next government. That should help a little bit with production. Yes, a strong navy. I guess compared to you, it is. Oh no, rock band spam is coming. Counter spy. There you go. Right, let's connect the city itself. How many turns for military academy? Four? Yeah, let's get the military academy too. Four turns is not that big of a deal. How many more turns to declare war again? Uh, one more turn. Then we can declare Golden Age War. This might still be a little bit tricky, but at least we have that tank. My line infantry army is a little bit weak at this point. The tank army is way stronger at 102 combat strength. We'll see how this will go. Yeah, let's just get some more railroads up here. They'll give us more tactical flexibility. What do we have here? Ace Driver. Let's get Ace Driver and send him back to enemy cities. Let's see what we can get. Alright, I will need a little bit of food in this city. A lumber mill probably wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's get this one here. It won't hurt. But like I said, this city will not grow much. That was not the goal here anyway. I could have switched the dice. No innovation in the class struggle necessary. Okay, there's class struggle. Yeah, I could have switched the tile with the dice. 
Wait, could I? Uh, no, apparently I can't. All right. We should also get the deer. Yeah, this one's out of range, but this one is in range. Okay, lumber mill. Uh, let's switch the government first. Here you go. Plus two error score. Now, what do we want? Let's see. We have public works, five-year plan. We want to keep... Where is it? Merchant Confederation in the wild card. And then we have one military and one economic. Well, I am about to declare war again. I could take war propaganda, which is maybe not a terrible idea. So let's take war propaganda. I don't need resource management. I might later, but I don't need it right now. And let's get the liberalism. Amenities are a bit of a problem, so liberalism will help. We got computers boost. I don't need computers. And the next up... Oh yeah, Cold War. We will not be boasting that. And we're going back to spy on people. Where are we going? To Rome? Well, no. To Pachacuti, probably. I see two spaceports. There might be more. Okay, not here. Yep, here's a spaceport. Yeah, he has a lot of spaceports. I will not be able to sabotage all of them, obviously. We can try to sabotage some of them, but yeah. I don't think I'll be able to slow him down much. It's very, very unlikely. Very unlikely. I'm certainly not holding my breath. Linguist, con artist, technologist. Technologist is okay to steal some boasts. Okay, let's take technologist. We can steal a few boasts, perhaps. I could definitely use some. Wait, what? Oh, barbarian comes spawned, really? Uh, yes, really? Okay, that's a bit annoying. Uh, that might delay my war with Rome by a turn or two. Yeah, I need to get rid of this crap. Look how close to my city it is. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. What do they have here? Pike and shot? No problem. And he survived at like one health. Fine, whatever. What next? A neighborhood, obviously. We can have a plus five in the desert. Yep, works for me. I will need a few swords, but maybe there's no huge rush. Yeah, one tile is already flooded. I'll have to work on that. Uh, let's get aquarium. There's the lighthouse. Now we should be able to send the trader out. Yes, we can. So, this one. Okay, good enough. Off you go. 7 out of 20 housing. Yeah. Hey, the city is growing. Shipyard. One more build for a mine. Okay, the city is connected. Let's connect our other cities now, shall we? Yes, let's do that. One more desert hill mine. This is the guy with technologist. I guess we can try to steal some tech boosts. I certainly wouldn't mind a few. So I can declare war right now. My tank is a bit busy, but I can do it. I just don't like that more than 80 army. Oh yeah, and we can get a supply convoy now. Let's go with that. Yeah, I kind of want my tank back, but at the same time I want to get started on this ASAP. I really want to get started on this. Mm. Can we get an embassy first? No. Yeah, I want to get started on this. Let's just declare war. I don't have the time to wait. Maybe I can get Pachacuti to join. Let's try. Join ongoing war, Golden Age War. He will do it, nice. There you go. 
All right, and they are direct neighbors. How about his other neighbor? Yeah, he will also join. Nice. Well, there you go. We can ask others, but this is mostly what I cared about. We can get Georgia to join as well. And here you go, Georgia. You want more money. Really? You actually want more money? Okay, fine. Have 100. Whatever. Okay, that's good enough. Norway? Can I get the Norway to join in? Eh, I would have to pay more. What about Koopa? We can ask. Nope, okay, this is good enough. He'll be at war with basically all of his neighbors. That's enough. Three more builds. I like how that weed stayed unimproved for this whole game. We have much more garrison defense strength on an encampment. So that's going to be a big help. Yep. Okay, now I want to kill this guy. We can yoink the builder. It's a little bit risky. I will take damage if I do this. Okay, let's grab him. Oh, actually, I will not. We can back up. Okay, let's back up then. Kill the AT crow. His one HP Spec Ops army is here. All right. And let's attack the city. See? Way more damage now. Way, way more damage. This will help a lot. And we have one more artillery army coming on the next turn. In two turns, I mean. So that will also help. Oh yeah, that's flooded. That's fine. Uh, keep it flooded. Doesn't matter that much. Let's buy the deer. It's not going to be a good tile, but I might as well buy it. So you guys just chill. And we'll wait to take the city. One more railroad. Get rid of this barbarian camp. And I'm going to buy a tile here, just to prevent them from spawning this close to my city. That was slightly annoying. Oh yeah, and uh, we can also get some air units now. I might let this one campus research grant finish. Or we can let it finish after we get at least one biplane. It will also give me error score. Okay, let's get one biplane, then we'll let it finish, and then we'll get another biplane. That seems reasonable. We have a lot of oil. More mines. All right, let's go, Rome. Minus four defenses. Yeah, it's a much, much tougher encampment now. Much tougher. How much damage? Okay, only four, but this time it's an army. Two attacks with our field cannon army. Nice. So 40 damage with the field cannon army, as long as it doesn't move. Nice. Uh, I need to finish him off. Okay, he dead. And we got a builder with two builds. All right. That could be a forest and a lumber mill. Perfect. Because I need two builds for that. So where is literally one turn? Wait, how's housing in here? No, housing is fine. I want units in this city. Let's get another tank army. I need four turns to get a tank army. 117 production. Nice. All right, tank army it is then. Continue the railroad. Let's send the builders north. Okay, so one more railroad section right here. There. Now we have a railroad all over this one tile mountain. That might help a little bit. Send the tank back towards Rome. How's Pachacuti? He still doesn't have nanotechnology. That's kind of surprising. I expected him to have it by now. Okay, all right. Don't get me wrong, I don't want him to have it. I just expected him to have it by now. Right, so two attacks. Nice. I can attack him with my artillery, but I want to keep attacking the city. So let's keep attacking the city. All right. One more artillery, good. So I'll need it where the field cannon is right now. It's not safe to have it where line infantry is. Yep. And I'll need to move the balloon. 
and the supply convoy. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, this is a bit inconvenient, but all right. Okay, it's fine. I should actually still be able to move and attack because of the supply convoy. Yep. All right, let's grab a lumber mill here. Call power plant in our capital. We should get a neighborhood here. We're capped on growth. So we'll use the tundra here for a plus five. That works. What now in Paris? Well, a sewer would be fine, but I kind of want more units. We also need more spies. We don't need more spies. Well, not sure about this. Let's get a spy. I need to spy more on Pachacuti. Way more. Yep, these are flooding. It will take me a while to fix that, unfortunately. We don't have computers yet, and it will take some time to get them. But, oh well, it's not a priority right now. Right, more lumber mills. Finish this railroad. Yeah, first let's connect the city, and then we'll connect all this to our capital. There's the biplane. That should help, I just need to rebase it twice. Oh, yep, I see the ranger. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, over here. Seriously. Seriously. Well, okay. I can't send a unit right now at this moment. I can send this guy, I guess. Okay, let's send this guy. Keep the tank near Rome. The tank is much, much stronger. Really? He attacked me? Alright, let me know how that's working out for you. Back to Rome. Right, I will have to move my field cannon. Let's just blast him with the encampment. That's not enough damage. Okay. I'm a little bit paranoid about having the field cannon here. Let's do something like this. Okay, this is much better. Okay. Now I need to swap the supply convoy with the balloon. There you go, nice. See, and now I can attack because I had extra movement on the artillery. He doesn't need expert crow as long as he has extra movement. Because I need to have uh, two movement left. And I do. Now we can attack the city with all three. Let's go. Hopefully this won't take too long. I'll probably just ignore La Rochelle at this point. We'll go after Rome. Maybe I can get a direct border with Pachacuti. Eh, that's a bit of a stretch. Eh, that's a bit of a stretch. But we can get a little bit closer. Maybe I want to need nuclear submarine to nuke him. Assuming we can get the nukes before he wins this game. He still doesn't have a nanotechnology, right? No, he doesn't. I will keep an eye on that. I still think he's going to win, but hey, who knows? I'll do my best to prevent that. It's just that, again, I'm not holding my breath. It's been an interesting game regardless, though. I enjoyed it. Alright, now railroad towards our capital. There you go. More lumber mills. The deer. Yeah, that's two food, which is going to help a little bit. Let's focus on food in this city. Maybe it can get at least some decent population. How far away are we from computers again? Yeah, we're not super close. We're not super close. I really need chemistry soon, though. Chemistry really needs to be next. It really, really needs to be next. Oh, and I need to own three-line infantry for the boost. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's get one nine infantry in Paris. And... Okay, hold on a second. We can get one line infantry here. And then a biplane. Let's just get rid of that biplane. And that will be enough. That will be three line infantry. 
because we have a line infantry army. Okay, I still have some governor titles, I'm aware of that. I'm saving them for now. Economics is a subject. Got economics. All right, he's still coming with a more modern AT. Now he can attack from the back with the field cannon. That's going to be the best use for the field cannon for now. We got an air attack. It's not a ton of damage, but it's something. Now I can attack him with the tank, but I'd rather keep that tank outside of city bombardment for now. I could blast him with the artillery though. It will slow down the siege. Yeah, let's keep blasting the city. This will be easier once we get rid of the fortification, which should happen pretty soon. All right, continue the railroad. Let's see now, we have one build left. So that's going to be a lumber mill. There you go. All right. Yeah, continue the railroad west. Get rid of this barbarian camp. He won't bother us anymore. One more lumber mill. All right. I assume he's going to attack my encampment because that's what he's been doing so far. Okay, helicopter army. Now I definitely want to get rid of that before it attacks my units. A spy was undetected. That was with 90%, by the way. That was with 90%. A little bit unlucky, but all right. Uh, let's attack the helicopter. I could kill it with my tank. Hold on, biplane. Okay. Let's blast it with the artillery. I might have to finish him off with the tank. Yeah, I think so. Or we can attack it with the tank and then finish it off with artillery. That's going to work out better. Done. Okay, attack the city once. Going well, and we got two promotions. Very nice. There's the line infantry. And one more coming in Paris. Yep. That's what we wanted. And we got the tank army. That's going to help. Uh, right here, outside of bombardment range. What do we get now in Amphipolis? More units, most likely. We could get another artillery, perhaps, which is not a terrible idea. A battleship would be a little bit pointless. Not completely pointless. But I think I'd rather take artillery. Okay, definitely not completely pointless. And we have this frigate. So I could get a battleship armada pretty easily. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Okay, let's get one battleship armada. It can do at least some bombardment. Now, I still want more spies. Let's get a spy next. There's the monument. And not much point to build a sewer here. How about an industrial zone? It's not going to be amazing, but we can still get it. I can have aqueducts. Okay, so we could have industrial zone here and aqueduct here. Not that it matters too much at this stage of the game, but all right. I suppose that kind of works. There you go. All right, yeah, continue this railroad. Send the line infantry back east. This was my technologist spy. Let's keep trying. Yeah, he failed in 90%. That kind of sucks. But all right. Six turns for another attempt. Let's have another attempt then. And this guy is ace driver. Well, first let's gain sources. Then we can try to disrupt rocketry. He's fighting. He's taking damage. Does he have another technology? No, he still doesn't. What's the tech count? 65. Yeah. He's 10 techs ahead of Rome. Not thrilled about that, but all right. It is what it is, all right? It is what it is. 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Leave my tank alone. He's almost dead here. He's at like free health or something. World Congress. Oh yeah, let's vote for st uh, sabotage rocketry. What is it? Disrupt rocketry, I mean. Okay, let's vote for that. Maybe we can get it to pass. All players have their weapons of mass destruction set equal to target players. I have zero, so I could vote myself to have others have zero. Or just vote for others to lose it, straight up. We can vote for Pachakuti to lose it. Okay. I would prefer if all players had zero. So let's vote for myself here, because I know for a fact I have zero. I'll vote for myself for Diplomatic Victory. And the World Games. Let's see. There's a very slight chance to win Diplomatic Victory, but it's low. It's very, very low. Rome won it, okay? This should be zero, I assume. Disrupt rocketry passed. Nice. That will help us disrupt Pachakuti's rocketry. Alright, we got a promotion. I think I'm going to back up one tile here. Have the other tank move in. What do we want? Hold on a second. Good question. A defense against ranged attacks. Let's get that. Your city bombardment. Good. And back to attacking the city. I do want to use the promotions. Yeah, plus one range. We obviously want that. We obviously want that. Plus one range is amazing. Yeah, the biplane has a really bad range. I guess I'll just deploy it over here. Sure, okay, we can do that. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Wait, we didn't boost... How did we not boost it yet? What? Oh, we are still waiting for one more line infantry. Uh, okay. Hold on a second, though. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's get one more in Amphipolis. How long will that take? Line infantry, where are you? Three turns? Okay, I guess I'll wait three turns then. We'll just switch to different research. Alright, fine. We'll just switch to different research. I still kind of need one more, however, because that way I'll be able to get an army. So I still kind of need one more. I suppose this battleship could wait. Okay, yeah, the battleship can wait a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. One more builder to improve all of this stuff. I'm not upgrading the frigate until we get the battleship. There, the city is connected. And the capital, I mean. This will be an alternative connection. Yep. Alright. Carry on then. I assume he will attack my tank, that's fine. Oh yeah, we should check the deals. When our turn starts. Let's take a look. Let's not have deals with Pachakuti. This is a good deal. 20 gold per... Okay, I will take this deal because it's so good. I could also just take straight up gold. Okay, let's take straight up gold for that one. We can buy some luxuries. Might as well. Sure. I can afford it. It's not a big deal. And amenities are helpful. We can still sell coal for a crap ton of money. Yeah, that is a really nice deal right there. Uh, that one, not so much. Alright, let's attack and uh, AT crew here. So first, the biplane. That's a promotion. Yeah, so I can have one attack uh, with my field cannon. That's still useful. Attack him with one tank. Yeah, I don't want to risk closing these units. And blast him with artillery. Yeah, I want him dead. We can have him almost dead. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Nice. Okay, and heal up the tank. I need the tank to stay alive. 
he's pretty valuable. We finished the neighborhood. I suppose I might as well grab a coal power plant at this point. The tiles that were going to flood already flooded. Get our city states back. That's also era score. How's our era score right now? Looking good, we can probably get the golden age pretty easily. Yep. And the house on the technology. He still doesn't have it. Okay. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. To the announced YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.